Denver, it's your uh, mom and dad. I, I know we uh, had some words the other night, but we wanted to let you know if you change your mind about things and, and want to come home, you're always welcome here. Did you tell him the school said it's not too late to enroll for next semester? Yeah, I, I don't know if you heard your mom, but she said it's, it's not too late to get into school. I anyway, let us know if you want to talk. I in the meantime, be safe out there. Uh, yeah, hey, I uh, hope Brian over at the used car lot hooked you up with a good deal, because if he didn't, I could expose some skeletons in his closet. Or, or in his case, the trunks of the cars he sells. Literally. There might be bones in there. Anyway, good luck out there on your own. Actually, you don't need luck. As long as you keep that temper of yours in check, you'll be fine. Trey, on the other hand, well, he's gonna need a steady diet of four-leaf clovers if he's gonna make it. All right. I need to get back to training the next crop of future WWE superstars. Keep in touch and make me proud. I know you will at least. Catching up on all times has been great, but we should really get going. Besides, shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later? But we just got through all the boring backstory stuff. It really starts to pick up from here. I'm down for more. Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not gonna start without you. And even if they did, some of the speeches are so long, you'd still have plenty of time. Great. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Didn't we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. Why does everyone keep saying that? Because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. So I just want to thank everyone in Memphis for coming out to the show. It's always great to be a part of these smaller events and connect with the people who have supported me for so many years. I'll be available for pictures and autographs starting in a few minutes. Don't be shy. Hold on a second, can we cut the music? In the spirit of not being shy, I have something I wanna say. Growing up, I was a huge fan of yours. Facing you in the ring is actually on this list I have. So I know you don't wrestle that much anymore, but I'll always regret this moment if I didn't ask. How about you skip the autograph session and go one on one with me? right now. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but who are you? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but none of these people would be here paying you 10 bucks an autograph if it wasn't for me working my butt off this past year in Memphis. Look, I get it. You're young and hungry, and you probably think I'm the entitled Hall of Famer who just shows up to cash in on all your hard work. But it's not like that. I'm here to support you and the indie scene. I mean, I used to be you. And by the way, I still didn't get your name. You'll hear the ring announcer say it after I beat you. So you're not backing down, huh? Like I said, you're on my list. I'm sorry, everyone, but I'm going to have to delay this autograph signing until after I win this match.
sliders. I didn't expect to see Lee to wrestle here tonight, but I also didn't expect my 27-year-old friend so I didn't want to be with him Sometimes life throws you some real curveballs. Red's got quite the temper on her. Actually reminds me of Slider's manager, Tex Phillips. <laughs> Did you know Tex once threw a bat at a fan who was razzing him? That was the last time his dad was ever allowed at a game. True story. Now just a reminder, the Sliders are on the road. We'll be back for a six-game homestand next week. Come on out and support the home team or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some money, okay? I have two 27-year-old man children to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than the house fly. I've seen Red wrestle a few times, and she never disappoints. Unlike the new slider stew the stadium's serving up, word of advice, unless you want your next bathroom trip to end in a rundown, I suggest you avoid it. If Red can pull off the win over a WWE Hall of Famer like Lita, I guarantee she'll be getting a call up to the bigs in no time. Be sure to get your picture taken with Memphis Slider's mascot, Remy. Just a friendly reminder, he's not made of actual meat, so please do not attempt to bite and or lick him. Sounds crazy, but happens all the time. Red is out here fighting for respect which is something we can all relate to. This morning, the twins threw donuts at me because I bought powdered jelly instead of a chocolate sprinkle. Just a reminder, they're 27 years old. Anyway, let's get back to the action. This is one heck of a bonus match we're getting here tonight, folks. It just proves you never know what you're going to see in Memphis Slider Stadium. Like that one crazy stunt where they had monkey umpires for a game? I still maintain they did a better job than the real ones. With this match against Lita, Red's getting to cross something big off her list tonight. I respect that, especially since the only list I have is never ending grocery list because apparently my almost 30 year old twins are never going to move out of the house. But I'm not better about that at all. You know, it's not often we get a Hall of Famer competing here at the stadium. Although there was that one time minor league Hall of Famer Turk Spitball Sampson pitched at the age of 93. He had to be removed from the field by security on account of the escape from his nursing home, but still, what a memorable night.
some of the blows these two are absorbing, they might be headed for a 10-day stint on the injured list. I definitely knew Red's name after that night. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations, she would lose her temper and go into hothead mode. You're one to talk about keeping your composure after what you did that night. Before my match, I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves myself, so how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance off. All right, I'll go first. Hit me with some music. <laughs> okay, Ribby, top that. Okay, wait, I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance-off is on this list, I have. I'm not crying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. Hey, no one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. I mean, what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? I think a better name would be Crossword because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves than a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what, I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Come on, Crossword, what do you say? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh, come on, that was just as good, if not better than one of his lame jokes. Oh, shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right, 
Let's do this, crossword. Crossword, crossword, crossword. to experience, and not to mention the support of the home crowd. Come on, King! Get him! Beat that butt!
This match is all the pressure of a winner-take-all playoff game. Not that I would know, since the sliders are perennial doormats. There's always next year. Look, I'm glad you won. I mean, you beat a legend, a WWE Hall of Famer, and that's huge. But you were out there playing with our careers just because you were too worried about a stupid dance-off, which allowed Lawler to get in your head. I'm sorry I let King bait me into that match. Just, he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. You should get that. Believe me, I do. But that's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you're adopted. Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Let's just move on from this. Apology accepted, okay? What would have happened if I lost? Would you have stayed here in Memphis without me? No. We're a package deal. Wherever you go, I go. But I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm having too much fun here. I mean, I just beat Lita. <laughs> I know, tonight was crazy. Do we have beat two Hall of Famers in one night on our list? If not, we should add it. Hey, good match, kid. I didn't know what to expect after you lost to a giant rib in a dance-off, but you really brought it when it mattered. Thanks. Sorry you have to leave Memphis now. I know you're a legend here, so that's got to be tough. Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how many loser-leave-town matches I've lost in Memphis over the years? Well, not that many, actually. But still, that wasn't official. We never signed anything, did we? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, then there's your answer. Hey, you two have dinner plans? No, why? Well, you should stop by my restaurant. We have really good ribs. 